Hello, welcome to LabVIEW Advantage. In this video, we'll learn how to reinitialize the VI. In some cases, what happens is, once we have ran the VI and restart using it, the older values are still in the memory. That leads us to undesired behavior. For example, in this case, we have a code that will generate a random number and we have stops. And if we restart again, as we can see, the number and then the button are in the previous condition rather than the uh, what we actually want. For example, we want the random button to be in the office state as well as the output value in the number 0 to 1 has to be initialized to 0. To do this, we'll go to the application palette and drag in the this VI and then create the method class. This is the invoke node. Go to the default values and reinitialize all values to default. What this will do is it will initialize every values of the controls, indicators, and the VI properties as well. So now, since we are using the reference, we'll have to close it afterwards. Connect the terminals over there and then connect to aid the data flow. Now, this code will reinitialize everything. So let's do it. So as we see in the data flow, what we're seeing is the button and then the output output uh, indicator are reinitialized to the default values. 